6th of June, 2022. It was too nice of a day to stay home. Mulling over places I could go to film another road trip episode, I decided on Princeton, New Jersey for the sole purpose of seeing the creepiest bronze water fountain in the world. Well, that and Princeton Record Exchange, and since it was all there for the taking, the 18th century campus of the Ivy League Princeton University. Naturally, my first stop would be the Fountain of Freedom, which if you ask me, its artist sure had a lot of freedom in its bewildering design, which registers a perfect 10 on the creep factor. It was designed by American artist James Fitzgerald and installed in 1966 in Scudder Plaza, next to the Robertson Hall building which was designed by the same architect that built the former World Trade Center Twin Towers. The six-ton bronze fountain measures 23 feet tall and is one of the largest bronze sculptures in the United States. It has 50 pressure valves and 1,000 pinhole jets that circulate 700 gallons of water per minute. Nearly 20 years ago, I visited the fountain in late autumn when it was turned off and the pool around it was dry. I walked right up to the fountain and dared myself to reach out and touch it. To date, it's quite possibly the most creepy, spine-tingling thing I ever did. And while it might not faze most people, I blame this fountain for being my lifelong source of creepy water and evil fountain dreams that I have to this day. However, given how imposing the rest of the campus is, with artifacts and sculptures dating back to the 1800s, it's far from the only source of awe, inspiration, and possibly even night sweats. Growing up in a nearby town, it's strange that I don't recall ever having walked through the campus or seeing any of the heavy on the gothic motif university up close. I'm not sure why my parents would never have taken me here with all their interest in sightseeing. On this beautiful June day, tourists were wandering the campus taking pictures as well, and an Asian couple even had me take photos of them in front of a statue with their phone. I wasn't exactly sure if the campus was open to the public, but enough people were walking around that I figured I could just blend in. I did not attempt to enter any buildings on the campus. Princeton is an academic town, but also very historic and a place that I feel surprisingly safe. Princeton in general is also an area home to other historic sites, such as the Battlefield Park and Albert Einstein's house. However, the remainder of this video will focus on my walk around the campus and, at the end, a quick stroll through the town's famous Princeton Record Exchange. Many have imitated, but to me, that is the original. I'm going to let the rest of the video go to ambient and added sound, and even though this is a longer video than usual, I hope my viewers take the time to see this picturesque road trip through to the end. If you're ever in Mercer County, New Jersey, take a day off and visit this amazing town. See you next time.